I think so. That was the, the key. I think um, today we create, uh, I don't know, four, five, six big chances, and we didn't score. And uh, in a game like today, it's in a final. Uh, who score first, maybe, will you know should be in a in a big advantage. But we didn't score. That was the problem. And then uh, we conceded on the last minute, uh, and uh, it was difficult to react. Yes, uh, final are finals. It's about to win. It's not about to uh, now to talk too much because you cannot go back and we don't have revenge from that. Scott. Nothing, nothing, no, nothing. No. How do you take them on? No, they are uh, professional and uh, we are very competitive and now we need to move forward. But they need to feel the pain. I think they need to feel that the competition. We play for a for a trophy we didn't get, and and now is it's the same. Why well, you can can tell me that can me you know to feel better? Nothing. And they need they need to feel the pain like us. And and of course they need to realize that we need to work more. We need to do better things, we need to improve, you know, and to compete in this level, again, a team that is in the last uh, five, six, seven years is competing for big things, you know, it's about to arrive here first and then uh, feel, you know, what it means to play for a, for a big trophy. I remember in the, few, in the after three, four years, Liverpool, they lose the Champions League, they lose the Europa League, you know, and they keep believing and moving in the project and and were on the next season stronger and until they they get what they wanted. That is a good example Liverpool. If we want to challenge a team like Liverpool, it's not to be uh, to be frustrated today because we didn't get the uh, the trophy. It's about to take the example that we need to keep believing. That is the most important thing. Matt Long. Look, of course that was difficult. I think always experience, you know, um, some leadership in, inside the pitch help. Um, but of course that after to be frustrated because I think the player feel, you know, the disappointment because uh, we were so close to, to win the game after 90 minutes. And I think we, we feel a little bit the, 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 the start to lose the energy. And some players like Gallagher or, or Chile start to feel really, really tired, and and we, sh you know, to maybe use different, um, you know, player to go in and and, and help, and then we need to change uh, Gallagher after five minutes, and then in the second half when when the, when they start the second uh, 15 minutes, I think uh, Chile and I think start to the team to feel that maybe the penalty uh, will be good for us, should be good for us. But uh, of course, um, but we cannot blame. We cannot say nothing. I think the effort was massive, and uh, I am, I am happy with the effort. I think the effort was uh, was massive. It's only that it's about to keep believing in that we didn't get the the, the reward that we wanted. But you know, now keep moving. James. Um, Hi. Well, my emotion, of course, I feel the same than the player. If you ask the player how they feel, I feel the same. I think it's so disappointed, very so painful. I think I am an older <laughs> guy that less time to win titles, you know, and they are younger than me, and for sure they have time. But I think in football is always, always about the, you know, when you have the opportunity. Um, because all is about to arrive to the final, always achieve the final, oh, should be good, okay, the first title to, to be, uh, to challenge, you know, the opponent. But after, when you don't get what you want, uh, it's like, uh, you know, all the effort that you made uh, during seven, eight months is, ciao, disappear, not so quick. And that is difficult to manage, to deal with this painful, but we are competitive and and if we want to win, we need to, you know, to move on and think in tomorrow that we need to train and recover for, for Wednesday.
Okay, last question this evening, Mike Waters. Uh, Maurizio, in his commentary on TV... Sorry? In his commentary on TV, <coughs> Gary Neville called Chelsea's performance in extra time blue bottle jobs because you were playing against a team of, with a lot of youngsters. Is bottling it a very harsh way of describing what happened in extra time? I don't hear, I don't hear what he said, but I think if you compare the... The age of the of the two groups, I think, is similar. Um, but look, uh, I have good relations with, with with Gary, and I don't know is that this uh, um, how I can take you no know, this opinion. But I respect his opinion. Of course, we we made few changes, you know, uh, like Gallagher and and of course um, Chilwell. Um, on extra time, but this true, we didn't keep the energy, you know, that was how we finished on the, on the second half. Yes, that is, I don't know how you can describe this situation, uh, but for sure I feel proud. Uh, to, uh, I feel proud to the players, I think they made big effort, and um, we are a young team, and nothing to compare with Liverpool, you know, because they finished with also a few young players, you know. I think it's impossible to compare. And he knows, and he knows if, you know, he knows that the dynamics are completely different. And uh, we were playing today Liverpool and Chelsea, Chelsea, Liverpool. And I think it's not fair to talk in this way if he said that. But I think uh, we are going to, to keep it strong and believing in this project and see what we can do in the future. Great. Thank you very Thank much. You. Bye. Good evening. Thank See you. you.